In part two of this build, I will be completing my fold down welding table. Plans for this can be found on my website, link in the description. In part one, I left off with having finished the tabletop, with the next step being to attach it to the wall. Be sure to check part one to see what you missed. I used my saw horses to lift the tabletop up to a comfortable working height for me, and line up the holes previously drilled in the back plate with the wall studs. With one end fastened to the wall, I leveled the table before attaching the remaining screws. Now it's time to start making the legs. The wall mounted legs will tuck behind the table so they can be no longer than the distance from the bottom of the wall to the underside of the table. I'll be making up some gusset plates to catch the bottom of the legs, which will allow the legs to pivot. While I'm enlarging this hole with a twist drill, it would have been easier to use a step drill instead. A quick sanding with a flap disc removes the burr created by drilling. For the tops of the legs, I'm doing something a little fancy and wrapping the tube around the curved end. I use blue dicum for marking out the cut lines. Off camera, I cut these tubes along the side walls, which you can see if you look closely.
Next is to cut the pivot holes in the tops of the legs. These match the holes I drilled in the tabletop at the end of part one. I set the table slightly off level, with the front edge a bit high, with the understanding that it will probably drop a bit when everything is put together. For this next part, I'm cutting the tube steel down to make a couple pieces to sleeve into the legs, which will become more apparent in a minute. With two of the corners removed, the two remaining pieces fit inside the tube seal perfectly. To attach these pieces to the legs, I'm drilling holes in each of the tube walls for a plug weld. And now, the finished product. The table starts off folded against the wall, tucked away so that my car can fit next to it. When ready to work, all I have to do is pull it up and sleeve the upper and lower portions of the legs into each other. The open end of the tube serves as a convenient place for the grounding clamp. Once I'm done working, all I have to do is pull the legs apart and fold everything back against the wall. I appreciate everyone who made it to the end of this part 2 video on building a fold down welding table. I hope you enjoyed watching the build process, and that it motivated you to make something similar. I have plans for this table available on my website for those interested. See the link in the description. As always, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.